Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show a very short and sweet chess game. This is the game between George Schnitzler and Abel that was played in Düsseldorf in 1861. Where is Düsseldorf? Düsseldorf is the city in Germany. Schnitzler had white pieces and he started with e4. Abel played c5 and we have Sicilian defense. d4, pawn takes pawn and Schnitzler played bishop to c4. If c3, we would have then Smith more gambit. Bishop to c4 was played. e5, defending the pawn. f4, of course, if pawn takes pawn, then bishop takes on f4 and pawn on d4 is falling. So in this position, d6 was played. Knight to f3, pressure is on the pawn on e5. Defending, pawn takes, takes pawn and pawn takes pawn. Black is still a pawn up. White castled kingside. And now black played the bishop to e7. What he was worried is, if he played knight to f6, he was worried about this move, knight to g5. But if he looked further, he would see that he had the bishop to g4 attacking queen, and after queen goes to d3, then bishop to h5 and f7 is defended. However, black played bishop to e7 first, and we have reached critical position of the game. It is wise to move. How would you continue? If you wish, you can pause this video and you can try to find the best move for white in this position. Ready? I think this is the move that comes to mind. And after bishop takes, then it's possible to play queen to h5. So this is a possible continuation. But uh, white played much more interesting move. He sacrificed bishop on f7. This is check. King takes bishop. Knight takes on e5. This is check from knight and check from rook. Black surely was considering king to e8. He played king to e6. If king goes to e8, then queen to h5. And after g6, knight takes on g6. If Pawn takes knight, rook is captured by queen. So black played king to e6. Now knight to f7, forking queen and rook. Queen to b6, and it is white to move and to give checkmate in one. Can you see it? It is queen to g4, check, mate. Very nice game, isn't it? So this was the game between Schnitzler and Ebel. Tomorrow we'll have a look at the game in which Schnitzler is playing against Sausage. And that is all. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess. And bye for now.